Hey, hey, system coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and I have replaced Julian Nagelsmann at Leipzig, the man that has taken this team specifically to new heights. He is such a young, such a promising coach that has now been snapped up by my team. Bayern Munich has now gotten him, which also entails a totally different story alongside with it. A huge amount paid for him, the biggest transfer fee for a manager ever. And it's crazy. It's just crazy that now teams are paying money for managers, which you normally never really get to see too often, but it is happening. You only see managers being paid if they are, first of all, employed or if they go ahead and get their contract snapped up and they have to pay out the rest of the contract. So that's the way you, you see it normally. But Nagelsmann has left this team and I am here to take over. Nagelsmann goes from Leipzig to Bayern. He goes from third to first position. He wants to dominate German football for years to come. But here I am, the young Johnny Sports coming in taking over Leipzig because my viewers have told me so. You guys voted for this team. I am taking over this team and I'm going to show Nagelsmann, hey dude, you left an amazing team here. I'm going to take it. I'm going to beat you over the head with it. Ooh, you're hard. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to beat them. We're going to beat Bayern Munich next season. This season, Leipzig is finishing off exactly where they are right now in the third position. There's no upside, no downside. Leipzig does stay in Champions League football. So third place, Champions League football secured, which I'm really excited about, just as we have done with Braga, as you guys know. We still have some of our old players over there, the likes of Mambimi and such. We have to sign immediately. And hopefully this season, we can just go ahead and sign them before we go into the new season. So lads, let's take a look at who has done well for the team. This is going to be a little bit of a taking a look into what's happening, but... Most importantly, guys, hey, listen to me. Listen to me, all right? Leave a like, all right? Support this video. It's a new season. This is a storyline that you would want to see. Join in. First time I've ever using Leipzig on a career mode, apart from a sprint to glory back in the day on like FIFA 16, 17. I don't even remember anymore. But here we are, boys. Dusseldorf goes down. Mainz goes down. Darmstadt goes down. Dusseldorf actually has playoffs, so good luck to them. We do see a bunch of good teams in here, obviously. Uh, Leverkusen in that fourth position. Wolfsburg, this is going to be sick, man. I'm actually excited to be back into the Bundesliga as we were here with Turkuju back in the day. We're here again. My country, my league, let's go. No Super League. They said no to it. Dortmund and Bayern said, we will not take part in this nonsense. We are here for the fans. And that is what I like about it. I think a lot of people have now realized that they would like to have the German model of the 50 plus one where fans have a lot of say in the club. So that is very good. Now, looking at the team, there's plenty of things that we want to change. I don't want Alderweireld. I don't want Orban. I don't necessarily think he is a good player. We want to bring in younger players. But at the same time, we do have Christensen who actually can take over over Orban's position and we can keep Orban as a backup. We also have Paredes here who is a player that I used to love back in the day. Huang Hee Chan is here as well. Beretta is here. Beretta is 30 years old though, so Huang Hee Chan takes over that position. Adams is a great substitute for the team. Um, we don't necessarily have any wingers in this team, which is something to think about. We have Escayo here. Is this not the guy that we had? He joined this team. We have Pavar, so that is another beast. We have Lukman. And Esgayo, I can, I guess I can put in there as well if I want to onto the bench, but not necessarily interested in that. We have Goebbels. This guy's talented, isn't he? Yeah, this guy's actually talented. I remember him being a talent. So I might as well sell Sorloth. He might go and we just keep Goebbels here and try and build him up as a backup, backup striker. Uh, maybe that's something we do. And maybe we just change the formation. I don't necessarily want to play five at the back. It's not really... The ideal formation for me. So maybe we just go with Angelino, Christensen, Denier, and Mukiele. Um, so that could be good. But Olmo, Sabitza, Soboslai. We have some amazing players here. Alassane Plea, Neko, and also, not Neko Williams, Iñaki Williams. Those are the players that we have in here. And uh, we have a bunch of money. A bunch of money. We might stay with a narrow formation, but I definitely won't be playing five at the back. So we have 56 million straight up first transfer we're gonna do it we're gonna have to sign him immediately before anyone else does but bimbi 
27 million release clause. You think I'm going to miss out on this dude? Hell no, bro. Felix Mambimbi is mine. He belongs to our storyline and he will take over that striking position from Alassane Player instantly. So we're going to go ahead and approach the buy pay and skip negotiations. It's way under his value. I can't believe no one has picked up this dude yet. Mambimbi, come back into my squad. And also, guys, hashtag fan objectives into the comments down below because we need new ones. Six new fan objectives. Give me your suggestions. Let's see what you guys can come up with for this team, but probably go ahead and leave your suggestion at the end of the video because then you will know what type of transfers we are made and how far we have gotten and all that good stuff. So that is something to keep in mind. Mambibi is happy with important first team player. That is good to know. 21 years old, exciting prospect. That's all we need to know here. Uh, for some reason, it's using up all of our transfer budget. That's weird. Why is this using up all my transfer budget? I had 55 million. I don't know about this one, bro. 34K in his wages. Where did my transfer budget go? What the hell happened here? Mambimbi will sign, but where did my money go? Okay, there you go. 28 mil. That was a glitch then. I don't know what the hell happened there. It's fine. 28 million to still to spend. And you know who I'm going to sign, boys. You know who I want from that other team. We are looking at, obviously, Orellano. The man for the wing. Orellano. Let's get him. Orellano. There he is. Uh, Luca Orellano. Exciting prospect as well at, Bar uh, at Barca, at Braga. Now, he has a 60 million release clause. So, we're going to just shortlist him and take a look at him later on. We will have to probably sign him next season. And the other player that I'm interested in, because we are moving on from Sanchez. As you guys know, we are moving on from him. Kirkju is someone that I'm very interested in. So we're going to shortlist him as well. He has a release clause of 45 million. I'm going to wait for them to potentially finish their season. But then I, I don't know. Will they keep their potential or will they get upgraded? I don't think it will. But we might as well sign them now. If I can, can I sign Kirkju? I don't think I can. There's no way for me to do so unless... I offer them someone in return. Who would that someone be? Maybe Paradis? I don't know. He is actually decent. Maybe Beretta, one of these boys. I'll see what I, can, what I can do here. In terms of value, who are we looking at right now that would be a good option for a swap deal? I am looking at Iñaki at 42 mil. Wow, that's nice. He will be playing alongside Mambimbi and teaching him a few things. Paradis at 38 million. He's worth more than Kirkju, so that could be a good deal for us. Or we can go for the likes of Lukman, who is worth 30 mil. But I like the guy. I like Lukman. I would like to use him. So I don't necessarily want to get rid of him. Pavar, right back. We do have Mukiela. Pavar could play center back as well. So I'm going to keep a hold of him as well. Gulashi, 26 million. We, I'm going to keep him because he's a good goalkeeper. And I've struggled so many times to find good goalkeepers. Beretta seems to be the one. Beretta is the one. We got to try and sign Kukju with the with the swap deal of Beretta. Maybe it will work. Maybe it will not. Let's see. So Beretta 25 mil. And on top of it, I'll give you another 15 mil. Come on. I want Kukju now. They want 33 million plus Beretta. Bro, that's like literally his, his, his price. What the hell? Are you mad, Braga? 25 mil. Come on. 33. Bro, they are absolutely crazy. These guys are nuts. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay 33. 29. Come on. There we go. Chuck Drew is mine. I know we have great midfielders, but bro, bro, I am looking to build the sickest midfield so far. Maybe we go with like a four triple two formation. Use two cams, two center midfielders. Drop Olmo and Sabitzer into center midfield. Put Kukchu and Soboslai into the attacking attack uh, attacking midfield positions. And then have Inyaki and Mambimbi up top. That could be a great formation. And I don't want to miss out on Kukju. So we're going to sign the dude immediately. Because I really, really enjoyed him at Braga. I think he is way better than Sanchez. And uh, sadly, Sanchez with no stamp, uh, with no potential. This guy is the one to go for. So rotation, is that going to be fine with you, pal? Yes, it is. Great stuff. This is not even the new season, by the way. We're not even in the new year. This is the thing. Like We're, we're here right at the end of the year. And they still have one more game to go which puts us at a great spot to um, get some transfers in before the new year begins. So here we go, 34K for him. Kukju and Mambimbi secured. Let's go.
into the new season and see how things go. By the way, as I'm simming, there's a comment here from Good Morning Morning. He says it's gonna be hard to get used to short hair, Johnny. I know, bro, but you're gonna you're gonna be able to do it. You you were used to ugly looking Johnny with the long hair, messy and just not looking good. And now we're 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 fine. We're looking all right. You know, you're gonna get used to it. And also. On one Genna says, go to Red Bull and take over. I'm dying for a storyline like this. Here I am, bro. Here I am for the storyline for you. Leipzig is third and we don't have anyone in the top scorer list. Haaland dominating the Bundesliga as usual. Leipzig has Iñaki Williams on 14 goals and Sabitzer on 10 assists along with Paredes also doing well with 10. So maybe we have to consider Paredes. I definitely will. I like Paredes a lot. We might play him over Olmo in that center midfield position next to Sabitza. 11.5 million for the preseason tournament, which we will not win. But the transfer budget is at 92 million. I can get Orellano. Let's go, man. That's huge. I need to... Oops, sorry about that burp in there. What the hell? Where did that come from? Um, definitely not from me. That was someone else, the guy behind me. Uh, anyways, uh, new season, lots of money, lots of transfers. Let's get these boys into the team as we move one day ahead. What the hell is that group? Real Atletico Barcelona? Am I playing La Liga? What the hell? So let's take a look at the potentials of the boys that have just come in. Please tell me they still have their potential. That'd be great. Um, we have, by the way, Mukiela's contract expiring very soon. Let me just fix that real quick. 100k. What? 85. Ooh, 149 million release cards. I'll take it. I'll take it, Mukiela. At least you stick around, pal. Um, Olmo up to an 85 already. Wow, okay. Savitz 85. Mambimbi 84. What? Oh, oh, yes. Dude, he jumped up four ratings. Are you kidding? He, he jumped up four ratings, bro. That's insane. It's the second time this happened. The second time, boys. First time he did it. This time he does it again. 84 rated Mambimbi joining into the squad. Exciting prospect. We will get him to that 90 rating. I will get him up there, man. I definitely will. In terms of potential, Alderweireld is um, obviously going to be leaving our team. 33 years old. Paredes is looking all right. Still 28, so we can definitely give him a, give him a try. So almost like only great potential. Should be an exciting prospect normally. Paco Alcacer? Where the hell did he come from? I'm confused. Why is Paco here? I did not see him. Campbell is here as well. Kirkju is here with the 81 rating. So he has gone up plus one, showing great potential still. And uh, we will definitely keep on using him. Now, let me sort out this formation and let me show you what type of plan I have for the team. And then we'll go for the transfers. So this is team number one. Iñaki Williams up top. Mambimi next to him. Olmo, Sobosla in the camp positions. Paredes and Sabitza at center midfield. Uh, not necessarily CDM. So got to keep that in mind. Right center mid, left center mid there. And then Olmo and Soboslai on the camp positions. This is one of the options that we have. I think we can genuinely build like three different teams here. I, I genuinely think so. And so before I continue doing that and building teams, it's time to decide who stays and who goes. So let's go ahead and make those decisions. We are going to go ahead and sell. First of all, I'm going to keep part of this for now. Soboslai is obviously going to stay. Denier and Christensen can stay in the centre-back position for us. I think that is good enough for our team. We don't have to necessarily focus on those guys. And I'm pretty sure they will go up in their ratings anyways. Gulashi, we could let go, but I'm not gonna. Uh, Alcacer, I... Uh, why is he only alone? I probably will have to use him in a swap deal. Alcacer... Um, just came in. Apparently, maybe this is a player that Leipzig already agreed upon. Yeah, 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 baby. Touch that earlobe. Touch it real nice. Before we joined them. So now he's here. Or I missed him completely earlier on. Pavard, I'm going to keep as a backup. Lukman is an option for the wings if we do play wings. And Orellano will have to figure out how we fit him into this team. It's going to be a bit crazy. Sorloff is going. He's not going to stay. Fangi Chan, I'm going to keep. Aldevirold will, will leave the team. Orban, I could, I'm going to keep him as original for the backup uh, in the centre-back position, just like Pavar, another backup for the defence. Campbell is 31 years old. He's going to leave us. Alassane Playa is going to leave us as well. Uh, Mvogo, we're going to keep as a backup goalkeeper. Actually, no. We're going to let go of Mvogo and bring in Carvajal. I think I want to have Carvajal in this team, the youngster that we used to have in the other side as well. Escayo just came in because we sold him over here, and now he can go again. We can get rid of him. Roger can go. 
Um, Klaus can stay. These youngsters can stay. Goebbels can stay. Um, we're going to keep on Borkovsky and all these boys. I'll, I'll see these guys later on, but I don't have any, any ideas about them at the moment. We could definitely sell all of these because who knows if these guys are going to get some playtime or not. But I'll check out the potentials and see how things go later on. But these are the decisions decisions that we have made. Let's see if we get some transfer offers. And let's see if we can sign Orellano. Has Orellano flown up in rating as well? Oh my god, he has. Oh no! They changed his release clause! Nah, man, he's worth 163 mil now. Really? Ah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and buy him. Oh man, I was hoping I would get him for a cheap now, just like I did with my Mimbi. But he has grown a lot, man. What a player he has become. I'm going to offer them uh, Paco Alcacer in this deal. 34 million for him. And I'll probably have to top it up with another 50 million at least. So here it goes. 10% sell on clause. Submitting the offer. Come on then. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> they want Inyaki Williams. I don't know about this one, man. I don't know about this one. I'll offer you someone else. Let me see if I can offer another exchange player. If not necessarily him. Maybe we can go with Sorloff. And we'll have to go like 65 mil. This is a lot of money, but it is worth Orellano. Trust me, I love the guy. He's so good in gameplay. They want 67 mil plus Sorloff here. That's a lot of money, but he is 84 rated. And we loved him at Braga. It's worth the money, man. It is worth the money. We're still left with 34 mil. And I still have so many players to sell that will get me back up to 100 million. I will accept this deal, boys. Orellano, 84 rated. Joining into the squad. Get in. 63k on his wages. 140 million release clause. Orellano, let's shake hands on it. He is joining us as well. A Braga Beast has come along now to join Leipzig. Now, that puts us under pressure. I want to see how long would it take Orellano to become a striker. That's something I want to see here. Is that a possibility or is that not something that we can do with him? I would love to see if he can pull it off. He does have very good shooting. So, maybe, just maybe. Oh, 202 weeks. Centre forward, though. 14 weeks for Orellano. That's not too bad. I can make him a center forward. I'm going to make Orellano central. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. You can't tell me not to. Orellano is going to be central. <laughs> I made my choice. Orellano, go on then. Let's make you central and then we can play you in the center forward spot alongside uh, Mambimbi. I think that's the goal. And then now, I guess Inyaki Williams could have been used in the trade. Um, now that I know that I, I could use Orellano in the striking position. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know what to do. Inyaki is here. So many choices to be made. So many choices to be made. Inyaki coming down and then Huang Hee Chan going into the team as a substitute. Inyaki leaving is an option. It is an option, but I, I don't know yet, man. I don't know. I don't know about Inyaki, man. I have not made my choice. Oh, development plans on players. Let me put development plans on all these players. Uh, everyone has a development plan now, guys. I uh, have put it on every single player. So you guys will be able to see some of these players grow very, very quickly. We have 40 players in a team, which is a very high number. Let's put together a reserves team and see what we can actually have here as well. The reserves team could look somewhat like this. 82, 80 rated strikers in Alcacer and Huang Hee Chan. Lukman could play Cam. Campbell and Kukju could play center midfield. Adams at CDM. Alderweireld, Orban at center back. Pavar at right back. And we will need another left back. We do need a backup to Angelino in case he does get injured. So those are the changes that we are making to Leipzig right now. What I, what I want to do right now is I want to move forward a few days and see how the team has done in these matchups against Real Madrid and Atletico. It's a loss against Real. It's a good way to see like how far we've gotten with this team, how good the squad is. And I think we might have just simmed that with the reserves. Yeah, I might have just simmed that with the reserves. Sorry about that. Anyways, we have nine messages incoming. A lot of players happy, unhappy about them being put onto the transfer market, which obviously you'll get those messages every single time you put them up there. So that is fine with us, but we do have the transfer offers. <gasps> Someone met Sabitz. No, I didn't know. I couldn't have known, bro. What? Sabitz has left to Atletico Madrid for 88 million. 
There is absolutely no way I could have told I could have been able to see that coming. There is no way. I bro, I had no idea these guys had release clauses. Oh man, that's some pain right there. I literally just skipped five days. Like, oh boy, that is tough. We're gonna accept this loan deal for Goebbels, though. Escayo is gonna go again. <laughs> Campo is gonna go for 21 million to Leicester. And Roger is gonna go for 14.6. And we're gonna get 88 million for Sabitzer, which I guess it's all right. I didn't want to necessarily sell him, but this opens up a position in the team, which is for Kukju. Kukju takes over, plays alongside Paredes. I think Kukju is benefiting massively from that one. I think he'll be very happy about that. Okay, in terms of release clauses, Christensen has one for 60.3. I just want to see who has some release clauses. Obviously, Mukiele. Uh, then we have another one with Adams, which is fine. It shouldn't be an issue. 61 mil is too high. 160 for Olmo. I'm fine with that. 140 for Orellano, obviously. Uh, then we have uh, just low-rated ones. 50 for player. I'd happily sell him for 50. That'd be great. So that was the only one. That was literally the only guy, man. That sucks. But hey, no worries. We still have amazing midfielders in this team. And we will have a lot of money as well now. That transfer just now has put us right back up over 100 million. My God, this transfer window is going to be crazy. Are we going to beat Barcelona? No, we're not. So you can tell we are way behind the power curve of level of football that we need to get to. This team, I want to push towards winning titles. Bundesliga, all of it, right? Roger's gone, Campbell's gone, Escayo's gone, and we have the offer coming in now for Alderweireld. 22 million, Spurs wants him back. Hell yeah, bro. 22 mil for a 33-year-old player? Yes, thank you. Um, Mukiele ain't going nowhere. Forget about that instantly. Alessane player, 21 mil. Wolves, goodbye. And Vogo, I will accept. I want Carvajal. I want Carvajal, bro. And Vogo is going. We are changing things up immediately. The entire squad is changing, but we're also keeping a lot of the main players. So don't worry. We're just getting rid of the players that will barely get any play time. And I still haven't made my decision on um, my main man, Inyaki Williams. I don't know yet. We'll have to see what happens there. Goebbels loaned out. Player sold. Alderweireld sold. That puts us up to... 200 million, bro. 200 million. That is a budget that I did not expect. I've spent so much money and I still have so much money. I, I don't want to go overboard, though. I'm not going to buy the Mbappes of this world. I, I don't want to do that. It's going to bore you guys to death. That's not my plan. I want to use the players that we have right here and also players that we have used in the past and maybe players that I never used, right? That'd be cool as well. Like players in, that I used in the past, I meant like Braga and the other teams. Maybe take some other players with us. Juan Macarvajal is up to a 73 rating right now. His contract is expiring soon at all soon. Let's get this man into the team. 5.5 mil is his value. I think I can get him for exactly that amount. Let's go ahead and offer them 5 mil. See what they say. Alessund, are you excited? 5 mil. Perfect. Sell on class 10% is fine with me. Carvajal, come back into my team, pal. Let's make you a better goalkeeper for the future. And let's uh, let's boost you up to maybe take over Golashi's position. Who knows? And there he goes. Carvajal joins into the team. 73 rated. Takes over that reserves team. That is my plan. I want to have him in there. And Vogo is going to leave. Carvajal takes over. Here we go. 73 rated. My guy. Let's go. He is... What is he? Does he have potential? I, I really hope he still has his potential. That'd be good. Let me just check that out. Showing great potential. There we go. So we can definitely work on him and get him upgraded as soon as possible. 17 weeks with better form, even shorter. And Vogo is gone. Bro, why is everyone meeting the release clauses of my players? Andreas Christensen. They're going after him now. What is happening? Oh, he submitted a transfer request. I can't even... Oh. Not when I was here, by the way. He had submitted a transfer request before. That's This is before my time. So we will lose out on Christensen, no matter what I do. That's, uh, that's something I didn't know. Okay, well, that's a bit odd. Christensen wants to leave. Well, there he goes. I mean, I can, I can show you here. Did I have ever any messages about Christensen unhappy? No, never. Never had any messages about him. Nothing. Not a single time. I was kind of hoping to uh, keep him. But if he wants to leave, he wants to leave. And I can't stop him. That's another one for 60 mil, bro. What is my budget going to be? I'm going to have freaking 300 million. 
This is legit what I'm going to have. So Christensen is gone. Good thing is he's not an original player, so we don't have to look into that too deep. Maybe we just bring back some of the old um, um, Leipzig players like Konate and stuff. I wonder where Konate is right now. He probably has gone up a lot in his rating, and I would like to have a couple of original Leipzig players. So Konate, I want to see how are you doing, man? Ibrahima Konate, 23 years old, 83 rated, currently playing for, Leipz uh, for Leverkusen. That's the boy I want. I want to get him back into the team. Ibrahim Akonate, I'm going to go for you in replacement of Christensen. So let's bring you back home. Let's bring you back home, pal. 60 mil, sell on 15%. Here we go. What are they saying? They want 85. I get you. I get you. You know, this guy is very talented. You know it. And you're trying to use that to your advantage. That's fine. We're going to offer you 77 million for Konate. I have all the money in the world. They accept. David Kuzun, give me back my Konate, man. Give him back to Leipzig now. 48k on his wages, totally fine with me. Only wanted to be an important first team player, Konate. Rumored to go to Liverpool. A lot of people, including Fabrizio Romano, have said that the deal is nearly done. So um, now we need to see if Liverpool qualify for the Champions League for the deal to completely go through. Apparently, that is what I've been hearing. If Liverpool don't qualify for the Champions League, the deal might fall through due to the financial situation. That's what I'm hearing, but we'll see what happens. Bonate takes over. We do have Pavard. Yes, I am fully aware of that, but he's not really necessarily uh, the option that I want to have at centre-back. He's someone that I would actually... I mean, I don't know. He is good at centre-back, but I have a feeling this guy could play CDM. I really, really do. So maybe CDM is the position for Pavard. Let me just see. Ah, uh, we can't have it there. Well, that's unfortunate. Let me just fix that real quick. What the hell did I do? Uh, continue editing. Pavar goes down. Kukchu comes in. Pavar goes onto the bench. And Carvajal takes off. Kukchu, right center mid. Here we go. When I'm looking at this team, man, I, I don't know. I don't know where to spend the money. We now have Orellano. We have Lukman. We have Hwang Hee Chan. The reserves team is good enough, right? The reserves team. I want to actually wonder how good is the reserves team now after we sold so many players? So Alcacer, Hwang Hee Chan, Lukman are still there. We do need a midfielder here that takes over his position. Part of this is not that guy. Look, you know what? I think the only right choice is to bring in someone that takes over that position because this formation, the way it is right now, and this team generally has no defenders in midfield. We have Adams who is decent. He's not great at defending, 78 defending. Then we have Paredes with 77. I think the only right choice to make right now is to have Kukchu as an all-round substitute for CDM, center mid, and Cam, and then have a massive defensive player come into this team because we don't have any defenders in here. I need someone with high defensive work rates, ideally. Someone that is going to cost us a lot, of, a lot of money, but someone that will take this team to the next level, that can lead this squad. So I am looking for a CDM specifically now. Let's see if we can find someone. You know who really impresses me, guys? One player in specific, and he's not young. He's not anything like that, but he is Tomas Suchek. This guy impresses me a lot, and I've never used him before. I know he's not the fastest player, nothing like that, but this guy can do it all. Defend, move forward, do anything in the team and i think it would be a great signing for our squad to get someone like thomas suchek into the team i think it's out of the box a little bit i don't really necessarily go for players that are 27 years old and all that good stuff but man i want to go for him right now thomas suchek come into my team man i want to sign you up the question is how much do we have to spend on him we have given away sabitza for 80 million 88 million and this guy is higher rated than him so I am assuming that I will have to offer a lot of money here. Let's go ahead and start off the dealings with 80 million for Suchek. Ooh, they want Soboslai. Ah, that's a tough one. I don't want to get rid of Soboslai. I think a lot of people would be upset if I do that. So we're going to remove that exchange player. And we'll offer you 88 mil. Come on now. Negotiate with me. Negotiate exactly the amount that we have gotten for Savica, who was 85 rated. Now in return, we're getting Suchek into the team as a beast of a defender. This actually really excites me because I've never used him before and I'm really, really looking forward to do so. I think this guy is so good. He's so impressive. 
in his first season in the Premier League, he's already showing how good he is. And we don't need the entire team to consist of talents. We can go for some experience here as well in Thomas Suchek. I want him in the squad. Real face as well. Exactly what we want. And then in his wages, I think we can easily give this guy 100k and we'll be fine with it. He is going to be the leader of this squad. Thomas Suchek, just like you do for West Ham. Hopefully, you can run forward, get some goals, but also defend really well. I'm excited about that signing. Very, very excited. Suchek at Leipzig, now going to be taking over Bundesliga football. And right there, he will go into that position. Suchek takes over. Kukchu goes onto the bench exactly as planned. And uh, now the bench is actually looking very, very good. I like our bench a lot. And Suchek comes in into that spot. He is probably better suited as a sentiment. Can I change his position? I'll just see if I can change his position. If not, we'll have to find a way to make him a CDM. Uh, development plan uh let me see if he can be a center mid i just want to see if it does any difference like does he go up in his rating or anything like that or no 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 all right we're just going to change it back to the regular four triple two and that one has cdms i think and that way we can fit him into the squad exactly as planned there we go and then paradise switch him over yeah paradise with that four star weak foot and then paradise becomes a center mid and that way we have everyone on the exact positions they need to be and all more going up to an 86 lovely this has to be one of the craziest first episodes i've done in a long time i i have no words for this man look at this team right now inyaki williams staying growing to an 84 mambimbi 84 Olmo with that 86 shoboslai with the 82 parades and suchek two players that can defend and move forward i'm looking forward to that part of this has an amazing long shot back in the day at least he did konate we're brought back into leipzig we wanted to have more original players angelino on left back mukiela on right back denier at center back and gulashi in goal that is a good setup and we still have 116 million to spend so if you guys have any suggestions for either the bench or even the starting lineup if you want me to make one more big signing i can or if you want me to go ahead and improve this reserves team, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. We would need a center midfielder and a left back as backups for our teams. And uh, then we'll be sorted. Thank you. It has been a blessing to be here with this Leipzig squad. Nagelsmann, I'm coming for you and your Bayern Munich team, bro. I will show you that you have left the wrong squad and joined the wrong squad, all right? I will be the one to lift that Bundesliga title at the end of the season. I know Bayern is way higher rated than we are, but we'll get there. We'll chase you down. Take care. Peace.